This is on BBC.com, news for USA and Canada, obituary, Suman Verk, the mother who forgave her daughter's killer. This article contains details some people may find distressing. This is Rena. This is a very sad story, I just wanted to touch on this aspect of... Um, it says, Rena was raised a Jehovah's Witness, which was unusual among the area's Indian community, and as a result, she did not celebrate birthdays or Christmas. In Under the Bridge, Rebecca Godfrey, who also grew up in Victoria, writes that Rena was increasingly frustrated with life as a Jehovah's Witness. She wanted birthday parties. She wanted to celebrate, and so she had been known to run away. Rena was a loner, desperate to fit in, and had been bullied throughout her life, Manjit Verk said in his book, Rena, A Father's Story. Bullies made fun of her weight and put gum in her hair. At the age of 14, Rena stumbled across a group of young outsiders smoking at a park and felt immediately at home. She felt closest to Josephine Bell, a pale, blonde 14-year-old who lived in a group home, idolised gangsters, and boasted of stealing cars. Rena was then murdered by this group of teenagers in a, in a very uh, shocking and disturbing story at the time from 1997. Um, it, it just shows what happens to people raised in this cult and what can happen. And it's a story I'm sure many are familiar with and thankfully most um, didn't suffer those kind of consequences, but have suffered similar, um, a, a whole range of consequences of being raised in that disgusting cult. Uh, I, I don't really know what else to say about this, just putting it out there as um, 